it's very difficult living with people who gives importance to beauty being beautiful or oh, even if you become anorexic still they want to be beautiful and um, i would call it as anorexic and um, what extent they would go cutting themselves up or having surgeries and what not so starving and even becoming like and very unhealthy life where they cannot even breathe yeah uh, they are sabotaging opportunities uh, sabotaging life itself um if you if you take a example uh these people who are starving themselves they go into some kind of psychological trauma where they would cut themselves off they would show different different signs i mean some people they become a rock they are they are not starving because they are in poverty and uh, they go through this pattern they don't even notice it in the beginning they notice their hunger eventually hunger subsides they are somehow else they don't even notice it but on purpose people uh and they are still anorexic and you know even even to this day, even to this day getting off being anorexic to become healthy must be one of the important steps in life i'm not saying eat all the time but uh, don't become anorexic where you are not able to carry on with life uh carry on with life activities you know like if you are not able to do your own work then you are an anorexic or some kind of health cancer is happening to you and uh, you should address that problem the goal is not to become an anorexic uh if you if you notice like some of these yogis also they they starve themselves they do all these punishment self punishment um i'm not and you know they they go they try to get over the get out the needs from <laughs> from but it's sabotaging actually and also self harming and um sometimes these people enjoying too much like a sabotaging or self harming or and starving and all these things like um why why would a person starve themselves uh i know they did hunger strike in in india uh, where mahatma gandhi says you know where he had to give up his dignity of life where they gave up like salt uh when they are uh, when they are eating food and you know um when, when they are when they using food or what not you're asking a person to give up give up their dignity is different from asking somebody to give up their desire is it not so um this is very harmful uh you know there is two two things going on one is self harm sabotaging and uh, and anorexic like the disease and um so it's like a, it's um it's um it's really tiresome dealing with somebody who's anorexic or who gives importance to being beautiful 
and they would go to extend like uh, it's not coming the it's not flowing in their way or something like that and they are pushing it too far and uh, it's hard living with these type of person e even even uh, if you have you know if you're even there uh, then you're like you know consistently pushing and pushing and it's not it's not just flowing easily anymore and uh, being anorexic means so being starving yourself mean you're giving up everything else just to starve yourself uh, self-harming, self-sabotaging. These are questionable, right? So, uh, I, I know that uh, they did the starvation. When, when they have to give up some dignity. You know, it's not about... Uh, where Mahatma Gandhi just wore his... Uh, uh, where he speaks about something, uh, salt, without salt, uh, living without salt, or eating food without salt, because it, it, salt means you have um, some dignity, so you have to give, give even that dignity, you have to give it up, and... Uh, you know, self-respect, self-dignity. These, these are things that's needed in order to survive. As long as you have uh, confidence and dignity, then you, you can go through some life problems. That's all right. So... Uh, starvation means it doesn't mean you're giving up dignity or oh is it dignity for yourself or self-respect that you give up and uh, you know you're you are just a doormat and you know even if you even if you choose you know, being anorexic mean you are just a doormat or some per, for, for some person just a step ahead they can use you as a doormat or stairs and get get to the top of their life. But is it do you want to live your life as a doormat? I mean, very successful people say, you know, we learn to live with other people. We learn to be interdependent. We didn't they didn't say dependent or coexistent. They said we learn to live with other people interdependent. No, it, it just uh, we we exchange ideas and and uh, you know it, it's uh, the dignity or the life they are expecting to have um, does not does not um, you know does not deserve any dignity or what, what exactly it is I, I I would not understand. 